believed then, and I believe now, that progress was and is possible, justice is achievable, and our best days are not behind us, they're before us. An energized President Joe Biden greeted to a really raucous crowd tonight in Chicago. Yeah, protesters, fiery speeches, and a fond farewell, the reasons we are on late tonight after night one of the Democratic National Convention. President Biden delivered a keynote address just moments ago, celebrating his three plus years in office as he passes the torch to his 2020 running mate. Skylar Henry sums up a big first night from the Windy City. Vice President Kamala Harris briefly took the stage on night one of the DNC to greet almost 5,000 delegates and tens of thousands of party faithful as the Democratic presidential nominee. This is going to be a great week. And I want to kick us off by celebrating our incredible President Joe Biden. The day one themed for the people also belonged to President Biden, who delivered the keynote address after stepping aside in his bid for a second term. Are you ready to vote for freedom? Yeah. Are you ready to vote for democracy and for America? Yeah. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton gave an emotional address, imploring Democrats to keep fighting. The future is here. It's in our First Lady Jill Biden also spoke. Kamala and Tim, you will win. This is the 12th time Chicago has hosted the convention, including 1968, when the DNC brought violent protests, which overshadowed much of what was happening on the stage. How many kids do you kill today? To prevent a repeat, police are keeping demonstrators several blocks away from the venue and made a handful of arrests after some protesters pushed through a first level of fencing. The whole world's watching. Hello? The four-day event will also feature speeches from former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. Good night, everyone. Harris will be back Thursday to formally accept the party's nomination for president. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Chicago. Now, Arkansas's Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders stayed off social media for the most part, other than to repost an apparent Democratic gaffe. The party released its platform and didn't appear to update the switch from President Biden to Vice President Harris. The governor posted that electing Democrats would, quote, equal four more years of failure. A ceremonial roll call for Harris and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will be held tomorrow.